One of my favorite pieces of technology that I feel is severely underrated and it's something that I use on a basically daily basis is NFC. And if you don't know what NFC is, stick around, I'm gonna teach you about it. So what is NFC? NFC stands for Near Field Communication and it's the technology that drives things like uh, Apple Pay and Google Pay. It allows you to tap your NFC enabled device like your cell phone on multiple things in order for them to communicate with one another. Some Bluetooth speakers and headphones even have NFC to allow for quick pairing. Um, and it is a really, really useful tool. And as I mentioned, it's mainly used for Google and Apple Pay, and that's what most people would know it for. But there are so many more things that you can do by buying your own NFC tags and assigning them to different things. So first, what do you need to do in order to create your own NFC tags? You're gonna need an NFC compatible device, which is typically most modern cell phones. Um, back in maybe about 2012 or so, they started to become very common and most phones and smart devices after that would have NFC enabled uh, within them. Next up, you're gonna need some NFC tags. Now I have these very, very inexpensive NFC tag stickers. Um, I think it was a 50 pack for about 20, 20 bucks Canadian, so even cheaper in the US. Um, and you can get them in all shapes and sizes. They're very inexpensive. Uh, they're waterproof. They don't require batteries or anything to operate. So you can literally put them almost anywhere. You can get them in different colors. Um, and you can even get them as plastic uh, pucks or things for your keychains. You can get them in all kinds of form factors. There are also technically different types of NFC tags, but the most common is the NTAG215. And that's what most of these sticker tags are gonna be. The difference between the different types is mainly just the amount of onboard storage that they have, how long they last for, but most of these will be uh, have data retention for about 10 years. I will leave links to different types of NFC tags down in the description below. You can go ahead and check them out. I'll have a few different types in there um, and I'll have the ones that I use on a regular basis. And the final thing you're going to need are apps. So on Android, you can use the NFC tool app and you can use Tasker to improve that further. On Apple, you can actually do it by default right out of the box using the Apple Shortcuts app. And you can also use the NFC tool on iOS um, to do some of the things that we're gonna talk about later. So getting this done on iOS is relatively simple. First, I'm gonna show you how to do this with NFC tools. So if you're using NFC tools, um, you can write it directly to the tag so that the phone isn't doing any of the thinking, the tag is telling the phone what to do. So for example, let's go ahead and do the Wi-Fi tag. <clears throat> if you go ahead and press right, we're gonna do add a record. We're gonna scroll down here. We're gonna go to Wi-Fi network. Choose the authentication that you have on your Wi-Fi network. You're gonna have to go ahead and type in the SSID. All right, and then you're gonna go ahead and put in your password. Now, when you're done that, you're gonna go ahead and do right. It's gonna tell you to go ahead and scan the NFC sticker. And it is now written. So, if I want to go ahead and do this on my Android phone, I can go ahead and if I tap this with my Android phone, boom, it'll ask me to connect to that Wi-Fi network. Super simple. As I mentioned, you can also do this with shortcuts on iOS, and this allows you to create different uh, rules for the NFC sticker based on the phone that's actually scanning it. Um, so this can be super helpful if you want one sticker to do different things for different people. But for example, if you go ahead and go to automation tab, you do create personal automation. You wanna scroll down until you get to scan an NFC tag. We're gonna go ahead and scan that NFC tag. There we go. You're gonna go ahead and name this tag. So let's call this one, call this one settings. We're gonna to go to next. We're gonna make it open up an app. We're gonna select our app and we go to next and we can make it so that it asks before running or we can turn that off so that it doesn't ask before running. And we press done and now we go back to the menu here. And if we go ahead and scan this, it'll automatically open your settings app. 
On Android, this is also very simple. The NFC tool app works just like it does on iOS. We're gonna go ahead and go to write. We're gonna do add a record. Let's go ahead and make this one launch an app for us. We're gonna go to application. Let's go ahead and make this one launch dominoes. Press okay. We're gonna go ahead and write. Approach the tag, scanned, completed, done. So now if I go ahead and I scan this tag, if I actually scan it, it's gonna launch the Domino's app and I can order myself a pizza. Now, Tasker can be an extremely complicated program and to show you how to set up actual tasks might take me forever, but I will show you how to set up with an NFC sticker so that any tasks that you already have assigned, um, you can assign them to an NFC sticker or tag. So you're gonna go ahead and go to profiles. You're gonna go to the plus icon event. You're gonna search NFC. For the ID, you're gonna go ahead and scan that. It's gonna scan your tag. It may come up with a pop-up saying that you have to format the tag to work with Tasker, that's fine. Once you have the ID there, you go back, and now you can go ahead and you can add a task to it. So if I want my sound off, which it already is off, and I go ahead and scan it, it's gonna go ahead and run that task. Super, super simple, and there's a lot of other ways that you can use this. So what are some of the awesome ways to use NFC tags? I'm gonna go through some of the ones that I use and some of the ones that you can potentially use in the future. Now, you can do some really simple things like changing settings. You can have it so that it automatically enables or disables your Bluetooth or your Wi-Fi. So for example, when you get to the office, you can have a sticker on there, you give it a tap, and as soon as you're at the office, it turns off your Wi-Fi so that you can save a little bit of battery. You can have it so that it automatically launches apps. So you can have it so that when you get into your car and you put your phone into your phone holder in your car, it automatically launches your favorite navigation app. You can go even a step further and you can have it so that if it touches that NFC tag in the morning, it automatically, or during the week, it'll automatically go ahead and route you to work. And you can do it in the evening for those weekdays to automatically route you home. You can get very fancy with this if you wanted to. One of the ways I use it on a daily basis is actually to launch an app for my toothbrush. I recently got one of those fancy Oral-B toothbrushes that has an app connected to it. And I have an NFC tag on the case for my toothbrush. I tap my phone on there and it automatically launches the, the, the app for the toothbrush so I can monitor my teeth brushing abilities and make sure that I'm brushing my teeth well. I also have one on my smart scale so that I can launch my smart scale app so that when I do weigh myself and figure out how absolutely massive I am, uh, my app can keep track of it. You can create NFC tags to share your Wi-Fi. This is a really fun way to do it. You can do this with QR codes, but you can also do it with a little tiny NFC sticker. You can stick it by your front door and you can have it linked to your guest Wi-Fi so that as soon as people come over, and they ask for your Wi-Fi, they just have to tap their phone and it'll automatically link them to the Wi-Fi. You can get really creative and you can have NFC tags to automatically share contact information or create a smart business card. This is a really easy way to share information with a bunch of people. You can stick a NFC sticker onto the back of a business card and have people scan it so that you don't have to carry around a massive stack of them when you go to a conference, for example. This can really help um, modernize certain things and a lot of people do not do physical business cards anymore. You can have your tags automatically launch a website. So one of my friends has an, has an NFC tag on the inside of his fridge. So when he realizes that he's out of a certain ingredient, he will tap his phone onto the tag immediately. It'll launch his grocery shopping uh, website that he uses that they deliver groceries to his condo. And he can automatically just quickly go ahead and add something to his grocery list. If you're a small business owner, you can have it launch your website. Again, with websites, it can be entirely endless in terms of the possibilities you can use this for. Another really fun thing is to place it in spots where you don't have to actively think about tapping it. So for example, if you use wireless charging um, by your bedside, you can have an NFC sticker on there so that as soon as you go ahead and put your phone on your wireless charger, not only is it gonna charge your phone, but it's automatically gonna activate some kind of routine, whether that is enabling sleep mode on your phone, enabling do not disturb, uh, turning off the lights in your bedroom, um, whole bunch of possibilities there. And to further talk about sleep, one of the other ways that I use it on a daily basis is actually to deactivate my alarm. I use an app 
called sleep as Android. And one of the features of that is that I can have an alarm that can only be turned off by tapping my phone on an NFC tag that I have specifically assigned to it. I have this sticker on the other side of my room, so I have to actually get up out of bed and go ahead and tap my phone on the door in order for my alarm to get off. So it really helps me on those really, really sleepy days uh, to ensure that I don't sleep in. You can also use the NFC tags to start a routine. Um, it can be a whole bunch of tasks going on at once. You can have um, an NFC tag uh, by your front door so that on your way out, you give it a tap, it turns off any lights, it turns off your air conditioner, um, you know, disables a whole bunch of things, enables your alarm, you do a whole bunch of things with this. Uh, routines are a really cool and flexible way. You can enable them both on Android and iOS using their respective programs. And the NFC tags doing this really make it a really simple task. And I've mentioned a lot of home automation stuff, but if you do use Home Assistant, you can get extremely creative and have a broad number of functionality things that you can do um, by enabling NFC tags around your home. For example, again, turning off all your lights, opening and closing garage doors, arming or disarming alarms, turning on music. You can use Home Assistant to do chore tracking, and there are also some other apps that you can utilize to do reminder tracking as well. For example, medications, you can stick one of these stickers on the top of one of your medication bottles on the cap, and it allows you to, you know, tap your phone on there, and that marks you as taking your medication for the day. So if you're extremely forgetful, it can really help you out. I know people that stick these on their garbage bins so that they can make sure that they don't forget to put their garbage bins out at night. They have a reminder that auto automatically goes if they don't tap their NFC sticker for the week. Um, so that's the way to use it. And finally, one of the new ways that I've been using it within the past six months or so is actually as an informational item. So you can store text on these and it is extremely helpful for labeling boxes and storage containers. Um, if you have a bunch of things in storage or you have a bunch of boxes, even if you're moving, it's a lot easier to, you know, put one of these stickers on one of the boxes, one of the containers, you can go ahead and write every single thing that's in that box. Instead of it just being clothes or instead of it just being electronics, you can literally list every single item that's in there. It makes it really easy when you put things into storage. You don't have to go ahead and open up every container to try to find the thing that you need. You just tap the sticker and be like, oh, is that item in there? Nope, nope, tap the next box. I find it super useful. I use it for all my camping boxes now. Um, I use it for a bunch of the things that I have spare computer parts in. Um, it's a super, super useful tool and being able to store text is awesome. And even with this expansive list, I've honestly barely scratched the surface. Within the NFC Tools app, and the shortcuts app for iOS or the Tasker app for Android, there are even more things that you can do and you can make them as simple or as complicated as you want. So I highly suggest you check out the apps and see what other kind of things you can do that you wanna do within them. Now, as I mentioned, you can get these tags in all sorts of colors and shapes and sizes, but you can also hide them really, really well. Um, and depending on how thick of the item or the object that it's going to be communicating through, um, they work very, very well. Keep in mind the communication range for NFC is typically three centimeters. So between a case and whatever object you are hiding your tag behind, um, you have to keep that in mind. And the less porous the uh, thing, so it's going through two different plastics, it can be a lot harder than going through a fabric, for example. But you can hide NFC stickers behind uh, face plates on the wall for light switches and plugs. You could hide them underneath your desk or your mouse pad. You can hide them behind your sunscreen in your car. You can hide them in books. You can hide them in duotangs. You can hide them in notebooks. You can hide them on their coasters. You can put them in a birthday or Christmas card for somebody. You can even put them behind a painting. Uh, canvas paintings are great. You could stick an NFC sticker behind there, completely invisible, um, and you can enable or disable a routine for enabling the theater mode in your living room, for example, or turning on all the lights in your kitchen or setting a mood lighting. Um, again, you can get super creative with this.
So if you would like me to expand further on some of these things that I've talked about or potential other ideas for things that you can do with NFC stickers, please go ahead and let me know down in the description below. And if I get enough interest, I'd be more than happy to make another video. But I really do hope this video helped you out. And if it did, I'd really appreciate it if you like, subscribe. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback. Or if you do want to let me know how you use NFC tags on a regular basis, if you do use them, any, any of them, or any ways that maybe you might be excited from watching this video, please go ahead, let me know down in the comment section below. Big thanks to my Patreon sponsors, Thought Slime and Step Back, and thank you for watching this video. If you want to see any of my other tech guide videos, you can go ahead and check out this playlist right up here. And as always, stay safe out there. I'll see you next Saturday.